have learned how to merge the data and how to join them using ProxySQL. Today we're going to see the difference between merge versus joins. Welcome to the channel. To understand the concept very clearly, please stay with us till the end of this video. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. So before we start, just keep in mind, today we are going to discuss the differences between how we write the codes in merge and how we write the codes in joins. We are not going to discuss the difference in techniques, how SAS works when we, when we use joins versus merge. We are not going to discuss anything other than the differences between syntax. So let's begin. First thing, we need to be careful. We need to note what are the prerequisites when we are going to use a merge statement or a join a statement. So let's have a look at the prerequisites. So the prerequisites for merge versus the prerequisites for join. One by one, let's see. First prerequisite is there must be at least two tables when you are going to try merge. Same goes with joins. You should have at least two tables when you are trying to, when you are going to try joins. Second prerequisite is common variable. One column common in each of the table with common column name and some common observations. While when you try to do join, then you should have one common column in each of the table with some common observations or values. So the thing which you should note over here, this thing is common in both of these two. But look at this part. It's not available over here. Here it says common column name means first you should have one common column in both of the two tables if you are using two tables to merge. If you are using more than two tables then each of the tables should have at least one common column. And the column name should also be same in both of these two tables if you are again if you are using two tables only. But when you when you try joins it's not necessary that the column name is, should be same. The only thing which is important is one column must be common in both of the tables. Now the second prerequisite, I mean uh, next part in the second prerequisite is common observations or values. There must be some observations common in the common column in both of these two tables. Next, when you try to merge, all the tables must, must be sorted on key or common variable. Whatever variable you have common in both of these two table, uh, both of the tables should be sorted based on that column. If you have not seen the videos on how to sort the data, just check out that using the link showing just at the right top corner, upper right corner. But when you try to join, sorting is not necessary. Now, without wasting the time, let's go ahead and see how we can do this. First, we're going to try left join. You have one table named personal info, second table named physical info. Check out the number of and name of the variables. And then you want to have the report printed something like this. Now, again, we are not going to discuss about how the technique works in merge and how the technique works in join. We are not going to uh, learn how the join and uh, merge works by technique. If you are interested in watching that, please check out the link. Please click the link showing at the upper right corner. So this is the left combined table. Let's look at the syntax for merge versus join. When you try to merge, you have to use the syntax something like this. First, you need to provide the data name which you want to create after merging both of these two tables. 
and then you need to type merge statement and then you need to provide the first table name then the second table name and then the common column and then you need to provide the type what you want again we are not going to explain what is left join and what is left merge if you are interested in learning that check out the video using the link showing at the upper right corner or that is mentioned in the description below so this is how you can use the merge now if you try to join you should first start with select a statement of course proc, proc sql and the quit are the mandatory thing here you should start with select also select is also a mandatory part and then you need to provide the uh, li a list of variables from first table here we are trying to take all the variables from first table that's why we have used star from second table we just want to have height and weight so that's why we are keeping only those two variables second table is named as b and here we provide the first table which will be considered as left table and then the second table which would be considered as right table and we are naming it as b and the first table is named as a and then we gonna use the common common variable name over here and then quit the statement and this is how you can use the merge versus join to do a left com combination of two tables all right so the main part you should notice over here is here if you are doing the left join in merge statement you just have to type the name of first table with a if statement but here in joins you need to use the left join let's go ahead and see next next we have right joins again we have same table personal info then we have same table physical info and we want to have the table joined something like this so this is the merged table and this is the join table this outcome will come when you use the merge statement and this outcome will come when you use proc sql right join so why this difference why is this difference right why do you see all the names over here but you don't see all the names over here but you see the observations if you notice observations sorry not observation rest of the informations are same but there is difference in names so why is that happening to understand that do not forget to check out the pdv functionality using the link showing just at this upper right corner now let's go ahead and see how we can do this thing using the syntax first we will see the merge versus join syntax in merge you can try this kind of syntax and in join you can try this kind of syntax again you see uh, just as the previous slide you need to provide the table name which you want to create by joining these two tables and then you need to provide the first table and define it as a second table name define it as b and then the common column on which you want to merge the table and then put b because you want to do a right join so this is the right table when i see right when i say right means right side not the correct uh, uh, not the right which is related to correct both of these two things are right but this right means the right side table and this is left side table all right so here you are providing b means second table so here uh, now what happens when you use the right join or the second table join that you can check using the link showing in the description below now when you try to uh, when you try to join using proc sql you just need to type the statement like this proc sql start start and quit then select provide the list of tables from first table and the list of tables from second table then the first table name and then the second table name which should be prefixed with right join statement and then the common column name again if you want to understand the joins you can check out the video on joins in proc sql using the link showing in the description below so this is how you can uh, you can use the right join or right merge now let's go ahead and see inner join or inner merge so again you have the table 
personal info then you have the table physical info and you want to have the data merged which should look something like this so if you notice the difference uh, we here in the result we only have three observations because only these three observations were common in both of these two tables like these three names not these three these three and these three let me just erase this because that was not common these three so by combining these three the output result has been printed over here so this is the inner combined table now let's look at the syntax for merge versus join for merge you're going to use this kind of syntax and for join you're going to use this kind of syntax same happens over here as well provide the table name which you want to create after merging the two tables then first table name define it as a second table name define it as b and then provide the common variable name and here the main point which you should notice is this here you are saying that fetch the observations which are common in both of these two tables all right keep only those observations in this resulting table which are common in these two tables that's why you put if and statement over here if you want to get the understanding on if else statement just check out the video using the uh, link showing at the upper right corner or that link also present in description below now let's look at the join statement again you're gonna start with proc sql and end with quit provide the list of red select followed by the list of variables from table one or table left or table a and then the list of variables from table b or right table whatever you want whatever you want and then you need to provide the first table name and define that with a name which is a then provide the second table name define it as b and use the method inner join over here and provide on statement sorry provide on statement followed by the common columns so this is how you can try inner join to have the common information from all of the tables produced in your resulting table let's look at the next it's the full join again you have the table personal then again you have the table physical info and then you want to have a pro uh, result produced something like this this is this will come when you do the merge and this will come when you do the join again we're not going to discuss why this kind of difference over here if you are interested in uh, learning this thing for merge you should check the video about pdv working uh, about pdv functionalities and for this thing you should uh, check out the full join full join uh, lecture in proc sql joins video the a line is showing line is present in the description below now let's look at the syn difference in syntax of merge versus join so for merge you can use this kind of uh, syntax and for join you can use this kind of syntax look at the difference the uh, these all part are same as the previous the only difference is over here in the previous previous join you used and over here while here you are using or so you are saying fetch all the observations from table a and fetch all the info, uh, information for the common variable name from table b so you are fetching all the information from both of these two table now coming back to the joins here same as the previous videos sorry same as the previous joins you are providing the proc sql and ending it with a quit statement start with select provide the list of variables from first table list of variables from second table then the first table name with from statement then the second table name with the full join statement so in to get this kind of output this kind of output you need to use full join full join statement and here you need to provide the common column name with on statement all right so this is how you can use all all these kind of joins in both of the methods like in merge and in join thank you very much for watching watching the video hope you enjoyed it and uh, 
if you have any kind of doubt do not forget to put that in the description below we will definitely get back to you thanks once again wish you very good luck happy luck